Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at the Movavi video editor and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create your own videos that you can then share with students, colleagues or upload to YouTube. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, in all honesty, I have been contacted by Movavi and they asked me to have a look at their most recent 2020 update and so I did and I must say I absolutely love it. Now, unless I was 100% sure that you would enjoy using this software, I would not be presenting about it today. Now, this is not free software, but once you've paid for a license, well, then you have access to the full suite of products. And you can see I'm in my workspace. Now, before we do any editing, let's just have a quick look at this workspace. Now, in the top right corner, we have our preview window. This is where all our video files and all our renders are going to be previewed. And also, as we are moving alongside that timeline, we're going to see what image is currently being displayed. This is an important part because this is also where you're going to be setting your resolution and dimensions. Now, you can do that underneath. And when you click on that button right there, well, you can then change the dimensions and resolution of your video. So when I click here, you can see I have a number of options and one of those is X and Y values. That means I can put in my own custom dimensions. The second area of this editor is the timeline. Now at the bottom, we have a timeline and by default, you get three different tracks. Now we have an audio track, a video track and a titles track. Now let's say that you want to have multiple video files and a couple of images where well, you can always add more tracks. You can click on the button on the left hand side and then simply add the type of track that you would like to use. In addition to that, we can also change the properties of these tracks. In other words, we can have these visible or turn them off just for the sake of previewing different things that we've done. Or we can also mute the entire track and turn off the audio. This is very useful when you're trying to work with multiple video tracks, you're editing them and cropping them. You really want to focus on one of your files. Well, then you can just mute or turn off the other tracks. Now, Let's start editing. Now, the first thing we'll need is we'll need some video files. Now, we're currently in the file import menu, and this is where we can bring files into our editor. Now, there's two ways. You can either click on add files and then find the files manually, or you prepare it in a folder, and then you can simply drag and drop those files into your editor. So as you can see here, I'm dragging and I drop these into my editor. When I click on these files now, I'll get a preview on the right hand side and this allows me to now select the files I'd like to use and then pull them into my timeline. On the left hand side, you will have noticed that I have now jumped into my media bin. Now the media bin is where your files live. So if you would like to add more files, well, you can either go to file import or you drag and drop more files to your media bin. Now moving files from your media bin onto your timeline is incredibly easy. You can simply click on that file, drag it down and drop it. Once it's in your timeline, two features you're going to be using most often are splitting the video file and also cropping the video file. Now, where can I do that? Well, here at the top, you'll see that I can either crop my file or I can split it. Now, in order to split, you do have to move to the middle of a file. So let's go ahead and move our playhead and let's move to, let's say, five seconds in. And then here we can now split this file. You can see instantly a split takes place. Now, if I wanted this second part or this second file now to be, let's say, a little bit more zoomed in or a bit cropped, well, what I can do is I can go to the crop tool and then crop that file right there. I can crop and rotate, no problem. And as you can see, we are now in the video editing tools. And that's one of the things I really like about the Movavi video editor. There are multiple ways to get to the same tools. So you don't always have to use a shortcut or you don't always have to go to the correct file or the correct menu. There are so many different ways to get the same result. Another way that you can get there is by simply going to this side menu here. Now you can see I have a number of features. The first one, the magic wand. These are all types of filters that I can now apply on top of my video footage. The second one, these are the different transitions and these are automatically generated and already part of the Movavi video editor. This is really going to speed up your workflow and if you have lots of little video clips, well, these transitions will make it look professional. Then we have some titles and these will help us to create intros and lower thirds and all types of text effects. 
We also have some additional features here. These are some stickers and this is something that I haven't seen in a lot of video editors and it does add a fun touch to the Movavi video editor and your students are going to absolutely love using these. Then we have our main edits or our main settings of this file. Now these video editing tools, these are the ones that you will be using the most. Now some of the most important video tools are going to be your color adjustments and then also obviously your animations and your pan and zoom tools. Now in order for me to demonstrate this to you I'm going to pull in a second file and then I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's go back to our media bin. And let's pull in that second file. Now I'm going to pull that second file here behind. Now you can see I have three files, all three in a row. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a transition between the first two files. So where do I go? Well, I go to my transitions. Now at the left hand side, you can see there's a number of different effects all built in, but I'm just going to select something very simple. There we go. And I'm going to go with Diffuse. Now, if you want to preview this, all you do is just click it once and you'll see a preview on the right hand side. Now you can do this for many different effects. Whenever you click on it, you'll get a preview. If you like this effect, well, it's as simple as clicking, dragging and dropping. So I can now click, drag and drop this onto my clip. Now you can see there's a little visual note there that there is an effect or a transition taking place and what I can do is I can right click on that and then go to the transition properties. This is where I can tweak the duration of that transition. So let's say that I want a transition to go on for four seconds. Well here I can change that. If you don't want that and if you just want to use the default values well no problem it looks great. Let's go ahead and cancel this. And let's show you a second effect. Now the second effect that you're going to be using a lot is cropping, panning and zooming. Now, as you've seen in my videos, there's a fair few jump cuts and sometimes I zoom in a little bit after a jump cut. Well, you can do that in Movavi Video Editor as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my file, find where I want to make a jump cut. I'm going to cut that there. Then I'm going to change this second file and I'm going to go to the pan and zoom tool. Now the pan and zoom tool allows me to either zoom in or zoom out or pan to these various directions. Now I'm going to zoom in. There we go, that's what it will look like and I want to apply this right here. You can see I have some visuals here as to how this is going to be working and how long it takes place but let's just preview this. There we go, you can see it zooms in. Now this zoom tool is very useful whenever you're trying to create a presentation and a video presentation that not only looks engaging but also keeps your viewer entertained and engaged. In addition to this, there's a number of other options here that we can use as well. We can adjust our colors and the easy tools. We have a couple of auto contrast, auto saturation. Now I like the full control. So usually I do spend my time in that advanced window. And I would highly recommend that when you are using this with your students, once they are able to do so, dive into the advanced options and have them play around with all these different values. We also have the crop and rotate tool the animation tool and this is where we can add some custom animations. We can even add a number of very complex animations as well. In addition to that we again have an advanced tool and this is where we can animate manually. So when I add an animation I can now tweak this to whatever I want it to be and I can also add some keyframes. And then one that you will be using an awful lot especially in education is the chroma key. Now chroma key is the green screen effect where you're selecting a single color and then removing that color from the video. Now let's just show you what that looks like. So in order for you to see that I'm going to first add a video track. This video track goes on top of the video I already have and now I'm going to pull in a chroma key or a green screen file. Now before I can place this video file onto my timeline I have to import it. So let's go back to the media bin and let's make sure that that file is there. Now I'm going to find my file and I'm going to click drag and drop it into my media bin. There we go, I can now pull this on top of my already present footage. Now as you can see here, it just jumps and I have that green screen effect. Now that's not what I want. What I want is I want that butterfly, but I want none of the background. So let's go back to our effects and let's find the chroma key. So here we go, chroma key, and I'm going to choose the color. Now when I click on this here, I can choose the color 
that I want to chroma key out. So when you click on this, I can now select a color on my screen and then chroma key it out. Here you can see that it automatically removes that color and now when I play my file, you will see that that butterfly is flying on top of my already present video footage. Now, the butterfly flies really quickly, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slow this down and add another effect on top of my chroma key. What am I going to be adding? Well, I'm going to be adding a slow motion effect. So let's go to slow motion. Now with this file highlighted, I'm going to change the speed. So we're going to bring that down and we're going to bring the speed down to let's say about 50%. Now when I play this file, my butterfly moves at a much slower pace. So you can see here, I have my video and my butterfly flies on top of that. Now next, let's add a title. So on the left-hand side, we're going to be selecting our titles and we're going to go to the option here. Now I can use a number of different titles, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to use the clean line example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this in and if you remember from earlier, we have a track just for titles. So here we can now see we have a title and as we play it, that title appears. Well, I can simply double click on this and then we can tweak the text. So I'm going to say demo and then at the bottom, I'm going to say Movavi editor. There we go. Very easy to do. And you can see we now have a clean title on top of our video footage. We have our transition and then we go to our next video file. Now let's say that we are happy with all these things and we just want to add a little bit of quirkiness to our video. Well, let's just pop on a sticker. I'm going to go to the stickers. I'm going to put a nice little like icon there right next to that title. We're going to resize it because this is very big and maybe even rotate it slightly. There we go. And let's see what that looks like. We're going to preview it. You can see the title goes away and then there we have our sticker. Now let's say that you don't like the way the sticker just suddenly appears. Well, you can add some animation to that. So simply right click on that file and then you can see we have some tools. Here we can animate this and it brings you again to that menu. And this is what I was mentioning earlier about how easy it is to find the tools you need. Let's choose the curl down effect. There we go, and we're going to just pull that on top of this sticker. The sticker now has the curl down effect. So let's have a look at what that looks like. Here we go, and my sticker just comes onto the screen, and there it is. So all in all, an incredibly powerful platform. And then finally, let's say that you've finished with your video file and you're happy and you would like to upload it or share it with students. Well, there's a number of ways you can do this, but let's export our file first. At the top, we're going to find our export button and then we can export this as a video file. However, you can also upload it straight to YouTube, Google Drive or Vimeo, and this will really speed up your workflow. I'm going to choose export video. This brings me to a number of different video files and this is again, it shows you the power of Movavi and this ties in with that video converter where you can choose any of these file formats to export to. I'm going to select the MP4 format. I'm going to call it Demo Movavi Video 1 and then we're going to select the quality. Now we can choose the highest quality there. It's going to be a much larger file size, but that's okay. And I'm going to start this export. You can see it renders everything and it exports it. I can tick this box to automatically open the output folder. And then there we go. We have our video file ready for upload with all the edits applied. I'm going to double click this to show you exactly what it looks like. But here we have our video playing. And then as that video plays, you see we have those animations, that sticker, we have those jump cuts. Everything we've just added in the Movavi editor has been put into this video. It didn't take much time and it was incredibly easy to learn. Now, if this got you excited about trying out Movavi, there is a link down below in that description that will let you download a trial version and you can just try it out and see if you like it. And then if you do decide to purchase it, there is another link in the description that will give you a hefty discount. So go ahead and click on that link, find your own copy of Movavi and then let me know in the comment section below how you are using this in your classroom. I hope you found this helpful and if you'd like to see more advanced tutorials on the Movavi video editor, do let me know in that comment section below and I'd be more than happy to create some more videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.